Hey guys, how's it going? T-Rex Traveller, Adam here. This workout is a really simple legs workout for the hamstrings and quads. You can add as many sets to it as you want. I'm going to take you through one set for each and it's all about pushing our muscles to exhaustion through perfect technique. Let's get to it. Alright, this first exercise is the hamstring curls. Now we're going to push it to exhaustion here because we're going to do some rest pauses at the end. Some key things I want you to focus on here. As you go down and you get to the bottom, stretch out the hamstrings by contracting the quads there. So as you straighten your legs, contract the quads. That will lengthen the hamstrings, the pause and muscles. When one contracts, the other must lengthen. Now when we contract upwards at this point here, pause and squeeze super hard. Squeeze super hard and we're going down slowly. The tempo here is one second up, a two second squeeze at the top, super hard, and then a four second down. And that, that bottom point right there, we stretch. Now this is my last set of three, and you can see why I'm tiring here, but you can take it to as many as you want. So I'd expect you to get to maybe between six and 10 reps. That would be absolutely ideal. And you can see towards the end here, I'm just doing little pumps as I've approached failure to really exhaust the muscle. Now you don't need to do that in the first set, or if you do in one set, do it. If this is your second or third set and it's your final set, rest, rest, pause. So I'm taking a 15 second rest here and I'm going straight back into it. So straight back to a really tight, solid contraction there, down for four seconds, really slow. Contract the quads and stretch the hamstrings back up. And I'm just trying to get one, two or three more reps out. And I'm going to do this rest pause for one more time. You can see I'm struggling there. So I've just started to do little pumps just to really finish off the hamstrings. Trust me, this you'll feel this. This is advanced training. If you're a beginner, don't worry about these rest pauses and pumps. Just focus on the technique I've explained. And choose your rep range and choose your sets. Just focus on that technique and the mind to muscle connection. Now you can see I'm getting engaged for the final last rest pause set. Really hard contraction there. Down slowly. Contract the quads. Squeeze super hard for the hamstrings. Contract super hard at the top there. And I'm going to get one more rep out on this final third rest pause set. Just about. I'm pushing it. I'm pushing it. This is where the muscle breakdown happens. The catabolic breakdown. And I'm doing a little pumps. Just a little half rep. I managed one just to get that final, final muscle to exhaustion. And then the second exercise, we're gonna move straight onto the quads. We're starting with pistol squats and we're gonna go into reverse lunges. These are super hard, so you can see I'm starting with the left leg. Now, a couple of things here. I'm leaning over the quad just very slightly. At the bottom, right there, I squeeze the hamstring. So I contract the hamstring to lengthen the quad even more. Bigger range of motion. And as I contract the quad from the bottom, right now I contract the quad to come back up and I squeeze it super hard at the top there for two seconds and then I lower myself again. Really important to focus on keeping the weight on the quadricep muscle here. So as I'm going down, you'll see I'm leaning forward a little bit to keep that weight on the quadricep muscle. Right down, again, same tempo. We're going down for four seconds. We pause for a slight second at the bottom to contract the hamstring to lengthen the quad. We contract up for one second, and then we squeeze at the top for two seconds. Contract up, super hard. You can see I'm starting to struggle now a bit. That's a weighted vest I'm wearing. That's, there's no need, it's not essential. It's just I've been doing these for quite a long time, so my strength's built up quite a lot, so I wanted to add a little bit of weight to it. And you can see I failed there. <clears throat> and then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the weight vest off because we're going straight into reverse lunges and I haven't got the power in my legs to do it with the weight vest. So straight into reverse lunges. This is such a great superset. Pistol squats into reverse lunges. You can see I'd slightly angle my foot inwards because I like to hit the outer quad, but I'm going right down there. So again, four seconds down and I'm making sure I sit right back and my knee touches the ground. I really want to stretch the quad out here, so I'll make sure my knee goes right back right back, stretch that hip and open it up and I contract up super hard and I squeeze for two seconds at the top there. Really squeezing. Again, you can see I'm leaning over the quad muscle. 
really contract up, super hard squeeze, and back down for one, two, three, four. I get my knee to the floor, I squeeze up super hard, and I'm pulling a little bit here on the handles, but really the handles are just there for balance, that's all they should be. You shouldn't be yanking yourself up. We want to drive all the force through the quad muscle, and you can see I failed there. So then we go straight into stretch, to squeeze in the quad muscle. I'm not doing any rest pauses on this one because it's quite a demanding um, set anyway, doing this superset. What I do straight after is I contract the, uh, the quadricep muscle and I stretch it. The same can be done for the hamstring exercise. So immediately after, you can contract the hams by sitting in a little squat position and then you can stretch them out. And again, I'm just doing a 15 second stretch here. So you can see that's a really easy workout to do. Very simple, it's all about pushing the muscle to failure using good technique and rest pauses. You can stretch and contract the muscles after you've done the exercise. So you can contract the hamstrings and squeeze them and then stretch them for 15 seconds, just like I did with the quads. And it's up to you how many sets you like to do. But remember, it's quality we seek, not always quantity. Look for quality. And when you get to that point where the muscle starts to burn, that's where the good stuff happens, yeah? That's where the quality lean muscle is gonna be built from. Now, if you're looking for a TRX program, I have many on my website, which I'll put the link to, and they are from beginner to advanced levels. All the programs come with teaching videos. There's a Facebook support group where we have over a thousand members now, community now, and I'm always here 24 seven for support. If you're looking for a progressive workout plan to follow along, and improve and achieve your fitness goal. That's exactly why I've created them. Check them out and let me know below if you've got any questions and if you need any help choosing the right program. As I do a little bit of uh, squeezing and posing here, I'll put up some uh, useful videos which I think you'll also find interesting.